Also topping your 10 at 10 authorities say deputy shot and killed a man who threatened them with a knife early this morning in Otsego. And law enforcement says the man was having mental a mental health crisis and had also threatened to harm his family and himself. But new just in the last couple of hours, the family of 21 year old Jordan Hansen talked to Fox 9's Courtney Godfrey saying the situation should not have ended the way that it did. Witnesses say the man was killed right here in this residential neighborhood as one of the people in the homes behind me called on a family member who was in crisis. Law enforcement arrived to the home on 72nd Court Northeast in Oxego just before 1 a.m. After talking to the man for some time, officers were able to get him to agree to go to the hospital for an evaluation. But police say as they waited for the ambulance to arrive, the man ran into the kitchen, grabbed a knife and fled the home. As they were searching a nearby backyard, law enforcement claimed the man confronted two deputies with a knife. Attempts to tase him were unsuccessful and he was shot. Justine Hansen says she's the sister of the victim, who she identifies as 21-year-old Jordan Hansen. Hansen was living at the home in Otsego with his uncle, and while they say he was struggling with his mental health, the situation never should have ended the way it did. Some neighbors say they watched as police tried to revive the man, law enforcement saying he died after arriving at the hospital. The two deputies who shot him are on paid administrative leave tonight, which is standard procedure in a situation like this. Their names are being withheld. Reporting in Otsego tonight, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.